Hello viewers, in this session uh, we will discuss about uh, Mobius transformations uh, and uh, some of their properties. Uh, so, uh, let us start with uh, the definition, uh, it, a transformation of the form Uh, T of z is equal to a z plus b by c z plus d, okay, where a b c d belongs to complex numbers okay, uh, is called a linear fractional transformation. And um, I have uh, deliberately withheld specifying the domain and range of this function. Well, these uh, depend. Uh, uh, I mean, the the domain depends on uh, the numbers c and uh, d. If in addition a d minus b c is non-zero, okay, then T is called a Mobius transformation. So, uh, now let us consider a Mobius transformation, consider uh, T of z is equal to a z plus b by c z plus d, where a b c d are complex numbers with a d minus b c non-zero. Okay, so, that will be our uh, subject of discussion okay. and if c is 0, if the uh, constant c there is 0, then, um, then t is a function okay, from c to c, i e the domain is all of the complex numbers and then um, the codomain uh, is the complex numbers of course. Okay. And uh, if c is non-zero, then uh, it has to miss a point, okay. then the function t um, is defined on c minus uh, the point uh, minus d by c, because at minus d by c, this function uh, uh, the denominator in the function uh, has a value 0. Okay. So, and then this maps to c. So, uh, it is sort of a, a split case here. Uh, so, what we can do is we can do better, we can uh, extend the definition. Okay. So, what we can do is we can uh, extend the definition of this function okay, uh, onto uh, the complex plane union the point at infinity. Okay. So, uh, using the point at infinity, okay, um, we will see that uh, this is the most natural setting for these functions. Okay. So, uh, we will see actually that all of these functions are actually uh, bijection. So, first I should define the extension. Okay. So, if c is equal to 0, okay, define t of infinity is equal to infinity because now our domain contains infinity, uh, I have to specify where infinity goes to. So, in the event that c is 0, we will define t of infinity as infinity okay. and if c is non-zero, then I have to modify two definitions. Okay. So, define uh, t of minus d by c, which we omitted earlier, okay. uh, define that to be infinity okay. and define t of infinity to be uh, the point a by c. Okay. In the earlier uh, case, that point a by c would never have been taken, if we restrict ourselves to the domain uh, c minus d by c, c minus minus d by c. Okay. So, with this extension, what we are going to show is that firstly, then with this extension t from c union infinity to c union infinity is a function. Okay, and we are going to show that this is actually a bijection. 
okay so if it's well defined firstly so uh, if a z plus b by c z plus d okay is equal to a z 1 plus b by b plus uh, divided by c z 1 plus d okay uh, this happens if and only if um, a z plus b times c z 1 plus d uh, is equal to a z 1 plus b times c z plus d okay and that happens if and only if let's uh, multiply it out and there will be cancellations. So, a c z z 1 plus b d uh, plus a, a d z plus b c z 1 is equal to a c z z 1 plus b d plus uh, a d z 1 plus b c z. Okay, when we multiply this out and then uh, there will be cancellations and after cancellation this is if and only if this cancels with this, this cancels with this. Then we are left with a d minus b c times z is equal to a d minus b c times z 1. This is if and only if uh, z is equal to z 1 because uh, a d minus b c is not equal to 0. Okay. And so, this works for all of this works for z belongs to uh, well z belongs to c if c is not equal to or c is equal to 0 okay. and z belongs to c minus minus d by c okay, if c is uh, not equal to 0. Okay. If Okay, if c is equal to 0 uh, for infinity or um, if c is equal to c is not equal to 0 for the case of minus d by c etcetera and infinity, we show uh, uh, th this property separately. We can show that um, uh, this holds the image of t uh, is equal holds. Okay. So, uh, all in all, okay, so, uh, except for some cases we have shown that t is 1 to 1. Okay. So, t is 1 to 1. Okay. So, uh, the viewer is informed here that there are some cases I have uh, already uh, spoken of which I have not covered, but uh, uh, you know that is an easy exercise one can show that uh, then t is 1 to 1 one can conclude t is 1 to 1. Okay. So, uh, then we can also show that t is on to uh, t is on to why is t on to uh, on to c union infinity that is what I mean. Okay. So, we will do this in uh, two cases uh, let w belong to c union infinity okay, or let me take w belonging to the finite complex plane. Okay. If c is not equal to 0 Okay, in the first case, if c is not equal to 0 uh, and uh, suppose w is not equal to a by c. Okay. So, then in this event that w is not a by c, then we can work out what w is by setting and is w equals a z plus b by c z plus d. Okay. Uh, we can uh, this can be solved this can be solved okay, uh, for uh, z. What we get is z is equal to b minus d w okay. multiplying it out and um, factoring out a z we get uh, z is b minus d w divided by w c minus a okay, and we have assumed that w is not a by c okay, w is not equal to a by c in this event z is this particular number. Okay. If w is equal to a by c, we already know that in this event uh, that f of infinity is equal to w. Okay. So, in the case that c is non-zero, uh, we have shown that um, uh, I apologize, I am using this function is t, okay, t of infinity is w. Okay. So, uh, we have shown that, uh, so t is on to So, t is on to if c is non-zero. 
in the event that c is 0 then also we can show that this is onto if c is 0 and if w uh, belongs to c okay we have let w belong to c okay uh, then then we can directly say that w is equal to a z plus b by uh, by d okay uh, which implies that um, z is equal to d w minus b by uh, a okay notice that a cannot be 0 if c is 0 because a d minus b c is non zero okay so uh, uh, so this happens okay and uh, this z gives you uh, t of z okay for this z t of z is equal to w okay and if w is equal to infinity in this case when c is equal to 0 okay we already know that we we define t of infinity to be infinity okay t uh, the extended definition refer to the extended definition we said t of infinity is infinity if c is 0 okay so in this case t of infinity is infinity okay so t is on to in this case as well if c is equal to 0 so in either case uh, so uh, t is on to in either case t is on to c union infinity okay t is 1 to 1 and on to so it's a bijection from c union infinity to c union infinity okay so t is a bijection so we will see that uh, these uh, mobius transformations are not only uh, bijections from c union infinity to c union infinity but they also preserve uh, the complex structure of C union infinity. Okay. So, what one means by that is uh, at least to start with um, a Mobius transformation maps uh, we will see that it maps as circles in C union infinity which we call a Riemann sphere okay, uh, to circles on C union infinity. So, circles the images of circles are circles okay, and not only that. Um, we also have uh, uh, the fact that um, it maps uh, the disk bounded okay, uh, by this uh, circle okay, uh, onto so, so, uh, so t maps the disk bounded by the circle onto a disk bounded by the circle uh, uh, in a very nice fashion. Okay. So, that we are going to see uh, um, now. Okay. So, um, firstly I have to show that uh, t maps circles onto circles. Okay. Uh, in order to do that, let me first uh, begin with some more facts about Mobius transformations. Okay. So, since T is a bijection, T inverse from C union infinity to C union infinity is well defined. Okay. So, case 1, uh, if c is equal to 0. So, likewise uh, I mean corresponding to the cases for t we will have a case for t inverse if c is equal to 0 then um, uh, then t inverse of w is d w minus b by minus c w plus a okay, for uh, w not equal to infinity and t inverse of infinity is of course infinity okay and case 2 if c is not equal to 0 okay then uh, t inverse of uh, w is once again dw minus b by minus c w plus a okay and uh, t inverse of uh, this is true for w not equal to infinity and uh, w not equal to minus d by c and t inverse of uh, infinity is a by c and t inverse of uh, minus d by c is infinity. Okay. So, we just write down the corresponding cases uh, okay, uh, for t inverse. Okay. So, that is the formula uh, we have for t inverse given t. Also, uh, we will note that this uh, notation for uh, a Mobius transformation 
a z plus b by c z plus d is not unique. Okay. So, um, so, T of z you will notice is a z plus b by c z plus d. Okay. It can also be written as a lambda z plus b lambda divided by c lambda z plus d lambda, okay, where, um, where lambda is a non-zero complex number. Okay. Not only that, it is actually true, uh, well um, one can solve this as an exercise. Okay. So, uh, one can show that if T z is a z plus b divided by c z plus d is a 1 z plus b 1 divided by c 1 z plus d 1. So, if you can specify a Mobius transformation in two different ways, notice uh, here we have a d minus b c is non 0 and so is a 1 d 1 minus b 1 c 1. Okay. So, uh, then uh, there is a there is a lambda okay, lambda not equal to 0 lambda belongs to c okay, such that uh, a 1 is equal to lambda a b 1 is equal to lambda b c 1 is equal to lambda c and d 1 is equal to lambda d. Okay. So, one can try that as an exercise. So, the specification of T in this form is not unique. Okay. So, also we can uh, decompose a given uh, Mobius transformation um, as a composition of certain elementary kinds of Mobius transformations. Okay. For that purpose, uh, define four kinds of elementary transformations. Okay. T of z is z plus a uh, is called a translation. Okay. So, for some a belongs to c and T of z is equal to a z a times z okay, a non 0 uh, is called a dilation okay. and T of z uh, is equal to e power i theta z is called a rotation and t of z is equal to 1 by z is called uh, inversion. Okay. So, all these are actually uh, Mobius transformations themselves special kinds of uh, Mobius transformations okay. and what we are going to show is we are going to uh, give the following proposition that uh, if T is a Mobius transformation, okay, then T can be written as a composition okay, uh, the composition of translations Uh, dilations and inversions. Notice that rotation is actually a form of dilation, where the constant a has modulus 1. Okay. So, the proof of this fact is easy. Okay. What we can do is, suppose c is equal to 0, then it is easy. Then uh, T of z, what does it look like? T of z looks like a by d z plus uh, b by d, which we can immediately see is uh, a composition of uh, a dilation and then a translation. Okay. So, uh, let S 1 of z is equal to uh, a by d z and S 2 of z is equal to z plus b by d. Okay. Then, S 2 composed with S 1 of z is going to be equal to T of z. Okay. If c is non-zero, okay, then uh, let us uh, tinker with the formula for uh, the Mobius transformation and get a particular form uh, and then we will see how we can write uh, T as uh, 
composition of these elementary Mobius transformations. Okay. So, what I am going to do is in the numerator I am going to get a C z plus d, so that I can divide. So, I am dividing the uh, denominator into the numerator. So, I will write a by c since c is not 0 I can write the numerator uh, as a by c times c z plus d plus b divided by c z plus d. I apologize I need a minus I have added a uh, a d by c. So, I subtract a d by c and then I have a plus p. Okay. So, then now what I can do is I can write this as uh, a by c minus or plus uh, minus a d plus b c. Okay. I am clearing the fraction in the numerator okay. and then I am multiplying the c into the denominator to get c squared z plus d c. Okay. So, now I see what the form is. Okay. So, uh, this is this can be written as um, a by c plus 1 divided by c squared by b c minus a d. Notice b c minus a d is non 0 okay. z plus uh, d c divided by uh, b c minus a d. So, um, so if we let S 1 of z is equal to uh, the dilation by c squared divided by b c minus a d times z okay, and then let S 2 is equal to uh, translation by d c divided by b c minus a d. Okay and S 3 to be the inversion S 3 of z to be 1 by z and S 4 of z once again the translation uh, by a by c what we have is S 4 composed with S 3 composed with S 2 composed with S 1 of z is going to be your a z plus b by c z plus t okay, which is your t of z. And notice that these compositions also work for uh, those other exceptional uh, points uh, minus d by c or infinity etcetera. Okay. So, one can verify by substitution that these compositions also respect uh, those special uh, definitions. Okay. So, that proves uh, this uh, proposition. So, uh, next we are going to see some other properties of uh, Mobius transformations. Okay. So, uh, namely uh, fixed points. Okay. So, so, for the purpose of this discussion, I am actually following uh, the book by Conway. Uh, one can refer to uh, the uh, book by John B. Conway, okay, which is listed in the uh, textbooks or references. And um, so, notice that um, a Mobius transformation uh, by the following analysis will have uh, some fixed points. Okay. So, firstly if c is equal to 0, okay, then uh, t of infinity we know is infinity. Okay. So, on c union infinity uh, and this uh, there is one fixed point if c is little c is equal to 0 okay. and then um, also uh, a by d z plus p by d is equal to z. Let us equate uh, the Mobius transformation t of z is equal to z. Okay. Uh, so, uh, t of z now since c is equal to 0 it looks like a z plus b by d okay. and then if that is equal to z we have this equation which upon solving gives us uh, a by d minus 1 uh, times z is minus b by d. Okay. So, uh, if now there are cases, uh, case 1 if a is equal to d, okay, then uh, you get 0 equals uh, minus b. Okay. So, then um, there are 
no other fixed points. So, in the event that c is equal to 0 and if a equals d, uh, then uh, there are no other fixed points. Okay. Uh, case 2, if a is not equal to d, then we can solve this equation to get z equals minus b by a minus d. Since a is not equal to d, the denominator is not 0, okay, uh, is this is the other fixed point. Only one other fixed point we get from uh, solving t of z is equal to z. Okay. So, there are two at most two fixed points uh, in the case c equals 0. Okay. If c is not equal to 0, okay, what we have is then uh, a z plus b by c z plus d equating this to uh, z, what we get is c z squared plus d minus a times z plus uh, or minus b is equal to 0. Okay, so, we get a quadratic equation. Okay, so, uh, this has at most two solutions in C. Okay, so, the summary is there are at most two fixed points whether C is 0 or C is non-zero. Okay, so, uh, so, a Mobius transformation Okay, uh, okay, which uh, fixes three points. Okay, has to be the identity. Okay, why is that? Well, identity fixes every point. Okay, and by the above analysis, uh, uh, you can have at most two fixed points uh, for a Mobius transformation. Okay. So, the only Mobius transformation which fixes three or more points, okay, three or more points has to be uh, the identity Mobius transformation. Okay. So, the identity what is that i of z is equal to uh, z. Okay. In this case a d are 1 and uh, b and c are 0, a equals d equals 1, b equals c equals 0. Okay. And in that event, every uh, point in the finite complex plane and the point at infinity uh, are all fixed. Okay. Okay. So, suppose z 1, z 2, z 3 are distinct points in C okay. and or you could actually pick C union infinity points in C union infinity okay. and uh, suppose uh, t of z 1 is equal to w 1, t of z 2 is equal to w 2, t of z 3 is equal to w 3. Now, uh, suppose s also has this property. Okay. So, suppose s of z 1 is also equal to w 1, s of z 2 is equal to w 2 and s of uh, z 3 is equal to w 3. Okay. Uh, S is a Mobius transformation. Okay. Transformation. Okay. Then, uh, you notice that um, apply t inverse circle S okay, to any of the points z 1, z 2, z 3. Okay. Uh, what you get is uh, this is of z 1 is equal to z 1 okay, and t inverse of circle s of z 2 is equal to z 2 etcetera t inverse of circle s of z 3 is equal to z 3. So, it fixes three points t inverse circle s is also a Mobius transformation okay, uh, uh, and so well uh, actually that is an exercise exercise that if t 
and S are Mobius transformations, MOB for short. Okay. Uh, then the composition of these is also a Mobius transformation. That is an easy exercise, one the viewer is advised to solve this exercise, it is an easy exercise. Just compose and show that uh, the condition A D minus B C for the new constants which arise when you compose okay, uh, also holds. Okay. And when you show that T inverse circle S will also be a Mobius transformation and it fixes Z 1, Z 2, Z 3. So, what that says is that, uh, so T inverse circle S is equal to the identity transformation, okay. so which implies um, S is actually equal to T. Okay. So, uh, so, if you know the image of three points via Mobius transformation, okay, then the Mobius transformation is determined, okay, that is what this means. So, uh, owing to this uh, property, what we are going to do is we are going to get another uh, representation of these Mobius transformations. Okay. So, uh, here is a, a, a definition. Okay. So, let Z 2, Z 3, Z 4 belong to C union infinity. Okay. Since, uh, the image of three points determines a Mobius transformation. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to make the following definition define T of z as uh, z minus z 3 divided by z minus z 4 times z 2 minus z 4 divided by z 2 minus z 3. Okay. This additional adjustment factor if all z 2, z 3, z 4 belong to the finite complex plane, okay, not infinity, finite complex plane. Okay. So, notice that when you substitute, uh, I mean this is a function of z, the right hand side is a function of z and when you substitute uh, z 3, the numerator is going to be 0 in the uh, first factor. Okay. So, you get 0, when you substitute z 4, the denominator is going to be uh, 0. So, you get infinity and uh, when you substitute z 2, there is a cancelling factor the, the, the second one. Okay. So, the second one cancels with the first factor to get, give you 1. Okay. So, uh, what this definition does is T of uh, z 2 is 1, T of z 3 to 0 and T of z 4 to infinity or T of z 4 is infinity. Okay. And likewise, you can uh, for other cases when z 2, z 3, z 4 are not in the finite complex plane, for other cases you can make uh, equivalent uh, definitions z minus z 3 divided by z minus z 4 if z 2 is infinity okay. and t of z define that to be uh, z 2 minus z 4 divided by z minus z 4 if z 3 is infinity and T of z define that to be uh, z minus z minus z 3 divided by uh, z 2 minus z 3 if z 4 is infinity. Okay. So, in any of these cases well not two of them can be infinity only one of them is allowed to be infinity at a time. Okay. So, if you pick uh, z 2, z 3, z 4 belongs to C union infinity, okay, uh, let these be distinct points. Okay, that is the uh, main assumption okay. and then uh, you define T to be like that okay. in any of the above case. What we observe is T of z 2 is uh, 1 okay, and then t of z 3 is 0 and t of z 4 is infinity. Okay. And uh, t is the unique uh, Mobius transformation uh, Okay, with this property.
Okay. From what we have said above, if there is any other Mobius transformation which sends z 2 to 1 and z 3 to uh, 0 and z 4 to infinity, okay, given 3 fixed points z 2, z 3, z 4, then it has to equal s uh, as a t rather. Okay. So, uh, by that property uh, t is the unique Mobius transformation. So, owing to this we are going to make a definition, we will uh, say that if z 1 belongs to c union infinity, okay, then the cross ratio of uh, Okay, the or I will say the cross ratio z 1, z 2, z 3, z 4. Okay, so, that is the notation okay, is the image of z 1 okay, under the unique Mobius transformation. which takes z 2 to 1, z 3 to uh, 0 and z 4 to infinity. Okay. So, we have defined such a t okay, uh, and then uh, the cross ratio z 1, z 2, z 3, z 4 is essentially uh, the image of uh, z 1 under this Mobius transformation. Okay. So, we will see that this uh, notation or uh, 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 this quantity is very useful. Okay. We will capture some properties of this uh, cross ratio okay, and we will see that it is useful. So, firstly uh, uh, some trivial examples if you take z 2, z 2, z 3, z 4. For example, the cross ratio of uh, z 2, z 2, z 3 z 4 is going to be uh, 1, because the image of z 2 under the Mobius transformation which takes z 2 to 1 and z 3 to 0 and z 4 to infinity has to be a uh, 1. Okay. And likewise, uh, the image of the identity uh, image of a point z under the identity Mobius transformation is uh, itself okay, for all z belongs to C union infinity. Okay. So, the identity transformation um, you know is now denoted uh, by the cross ratio z 1 0 infinity, because in this case this represents 1 goes to 1 and 0 goes to 0 and infinity goes to infinity. Okay. And there is only one transformation which fixes 3 points namely the identity. Okay. All right. So, these are some trivial examples okay. and um, here is a proposition. Okay. If z 2, z 3, z 4 belong to C union infinity okay, are distinct uh, okay, distinct points and uh, T is any Mobius transformation. then the cross ratio z 1, z 2, z 3, z 4 is equal to the cross ratio t z 1, t z 2, t z 3, t z 4. Okay. So, for, uh, for any Mobius transformation uh, we uh, t, we have this property. Okay. So, that is the relation uh, between uh, any other Mobius transformation and a cross ratio. Okay. The proof of this is very simple, uh, but we, uh, what we are going to do is we are actually going to use this proposition to um, explore some properties of uh, Mobius transformations. Okay. So, uh, let S z be the Mobius transformation, which is given by z z 2 z 3 z 4. 
and uh, by the exercise which uh, I uh, left to the uh, viewer m is let m equals s circle t inverse t is a Mobius transformation t is any Mobius transformation, but uh, the inverse to any Mobius transformation exists. Okay. Uh, we have uh, seen that t inverse is also uh, a bijection between uh, from c union infinity to itself. Okay. So, uh, define a new Mobius transformation which is composition of s circle t inverse composition is also a Mobius transformation by this exercise. Okay. So, uh, so let m equals s circle t inverse and notice that m of t z 2 Okay, which is s circle t inverse circle t of z 2 this is equal to 1 okay, because s of z 2 is 1 and likewise m of t z 3 is equal to 0 and m of t z 4 is equal to infinity. Okay. So, um, so of course, um, s t inverse of z Okay, uh, which is m of z. Okay, m of this quantity is one, this quantity is two, and this quantity is infinity. So uh, m of z itself can be written as z comma t z two, t z three, t z four, because the image of t z two is one, and t z three is zero, and that of t z four is infinity uh, via m. Okay, so from here what we have is s t inverse of z is this. So, s of quantity in c union infinity is equal to z comma t z 2 t z 3 t z 4. Okay. So, what this means is that if I substitute for z, if I substitute t of z, what I get is t of z, t of z 2, t of z 3 and t of z 4. Okay, so, I am actually writing the image as t z, okay. I have been using that before. Okay. So, um, what this tells us is t inverse circle t is uh, uh, identity. So, this gives us the L h s is s of z, this is t z, t z 2, t z 3 and t z 4 okay. and this is what we wanted. So, uh, so, it completes the proof of this proposition. And, uh, there is yet another property that we will need. So, here is another proposition. Okay. If z 2, z 3, z 4 are distinct in c union infinity and w 1, w 2, w or w 2, w 3, w 4 okay, are also distinct. Okay, then there is one and only one uh, Mobius transformation such that S Z two is equal to W two, S Z three is equal to W three s z 4 is equal to w 4 okay. and the proof is really easy. Okay. Uh, if you let t z is equal to z, z 2, z 3, uh, z 4. Okay. So, the idea is uh, z 2, z 3, z 4 go to 1, 0 and infinity okay. and uh, you have w 1, w 2, w 3, w 4 distinct these go to 1, 0 and infinity this is the schematic. Okay. So, uh, t is this I am going to call this as m, m of, m of z is equal to z w 2, w 3, w 4. Okay. So, m is the one which takes w 2 to 1, w 3 to 0 and w 4 to infinity. Okay. Then you notice that uh, let s e, okay, and let s equals m inverse circle t. Okay. So, m inverse circle t takes uh, uh, 
okay, and uh, takes w 2 or z 2 to w 2, z 3 to w 3. Okay, and z 4 to w 4. Okay. So, it satisfies uh, the requirement for S okay. and uh, if R is also okay, uh, another Mobius transformation uh, which uh, satisfies the requirement namely it takes Z 2 to W 2, Z 3 to W 3 and Z 4 to W 4. Okay, then um, R inverse circle S fix, fixes three points by you know the previous kind of argument. Okay, R inverse circle S fixes three points Z two, Z three, Z four. Okay, so implies R inverse circle S is the identity transformation which implies R is equal to S. Okay, so this is unique. Okay, and your m inverse circle t is what is wanted. So, that is the idea you take z 2 to 1, z 3 to 0 and z 4 to z infinity uh, okay, and then go back via m 1 goes to w 2, 0 goes to w 3 and infinity goes to w 4. Okay. So, that way you can achieve uh, what is wanted in this proposition okay, that s. All right. So, that gives us a uh, way to represent Mobius transformations using uh, cross ratios okay. and our goal is to actually show that uh, these functions Mobius transformations are not only bijections from C union infinity to C union infinity, but they also preserve complex structure i e they take circles to circles and uh, they take the, uh, the disks bounded by these circles to disks bounded uh, by the image circle. Okay. So, uh, these properties will help us achieve that goal, uh, these propositions that we proved will help us achieve that goal. So, we will continue to explore uh, the properties of Mobius transformations, I will stop here.